I was right from the start about Aaron Rodgers, and it wasn't easy to be right about Aaron Rodgers. Again and again and again and again, I had to hear, never been anything like Aaron Rodgers. Aaron bleeping Rodgers, transcendent thrower of the football, the swagger, the flair, the girlfriends, the State Farm commercials, the super coolness. Yet from the start, two years before that long ago Super Bowl that Aaron did win, I said, yeah, he's got great arm talent, but his footwork is awful. And even worse, his leadership intangibles and his postseason guts and clutchness are highly questionable. Even before Aaron Rodgers won that one Super Bowl 12 years ago, I was calling Aaron Rodgers a blame-deflecting, finger-pointing diva, a master media manipulator. He fired back at me a couple of times. This is before he won a Super Bowl. I stood my ground, and he backed off, and I heard not a peep from him again. But he did win that Super Bowl as a road wild card team with no expectations, very little pressure. If my man Michael Vick had made one bad choice, one bad throw late in that playoff game in Philadelphia, if he hadn't thrown that one interception into his own end zone, Philly wins that game. If my man from Vanderbilt, Jay Cutler, hadn't hurt his knee and spent the entire second half on an exercise bike during the NFC Championship game at Soldier Field, Maybe Green Bay doesn't advance to the Super Bowl. As it was, Aaron Rodgers got outplayed in that second half by the immortal Caleb Haney. Since that long ago faraway Super Bowl, Aaron Rodgers is 7-9 and nine in the postseason. Think about that. Seven wins and nine losses. Six of those seven wins were pretty fortuitous, to put it mildly. He got to beat Joe Webb a Viking receiver having to play quarterback. He got to beat Kirk Cousins at Washington. He survived my Cowboys in the Dez Caught It game. He beat Odell's Giants in large part because Odell had gone to South Beach with his receiver group to get ready for his first ever playoff game up on the frozen tundra of Green Bay. Aaron did beat my Cowboys again with the help of two intergalactic field goals that looked as if they had no chance off the foot of one Mason crossbar. Several of Aaron's postseason losses were flat out embarrassments, debacles, disasters, including his worst ever playoff performance, which was the NFC Championship game at Seattle following the great escape in the Des Caught It game in Green Bay. Just three years ago, Aaron, MVP, had the number one seed, got to play his first ever home NFC Championship game, and he lost to Brady's Bucks after he had it first and goal at the eight and up chucked three straight times to the point that his young head coach said, I have seen enough. I'm going to take a field goal that made it 31 to 26. What? <sighs> Two years ago. Another MVP for Aaron, another number one seed, and he lost the divisional home game, the first game they played in the playoffs, to Jimmy Garoppolo. Stunk it up. Last season, all Aaron had to do was beat Detroit in Green Bay. Detroit, a doormat in the conference, a team they had owned in the division, a team they had owned for, for years on end. All you have to do is beat Detroit and Green Bay to make the playoffs, and Aaron could not. He stunk. But year after year, Aaron has held those Packers hostage in ways, in, in, in worse ways than, than Brett Favre ever dreamed of. Aaron lied about his vaccination. He insisted on going public with all the details of his experimentation with the hallucinogenic drug ayahuasca, 
banned in the U.S. He experimented in South America. Aaron Rodgers has revealed himself to be exactly what I said he was 14 years ago when it was highly unpopular to say. So for today, just for once, I'm, I'm taking some credit for the stand I took against Aaron Rodgers 14 years ago. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from The Skip Bayless Show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.